Hi loves, I wanted to welcome you back to my channel. It's your girl Lee of I Know Lee and we are going to just dive directly into this very cute, fun, funky holiday hairstyle featuring the Jamaican Mango and Lime products sold at your local HEB. Let's get started. Oh hi, it's you. Again, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the tutorial. I am starting off with fully blown out hair. It is freshly shampooed and conditioned. Using my red tail comb, I am going to part off a section in the middle that is going to house my two braids. So once one side of my part is done, I'm gonna clip it out of the way and then work on the other side. My parts are slightly curved, but of course you can adjust that and just do parts that are straight backwards and forwards. This is just my preference. So now with the rat tail comb, I'm going to part directly down the center of my head so that we can prepare this for two braids. We're going to gather one section of hair and pull it out of the way and then work on the first braided section. Now I'm going to use my Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel and I'm going to grab a rather generous amount. This is definitely light enough but it's moisturizing and it's going to give your hair the hold that it needs. I'm also going to seal some of that moisture in with the Jamaican Mango and Lime Island Oil. So once we've actually worked the product into that section, we are going to begin corn rolling the section. When I corn roll, I'm going to start with really, really small sections and add in small chunks of hair as I go. If you feel like the hair is tangling, stop and kind of gently just comb through it, smooth it out. Then we're going to braid it down to the ends. Then we will repeat the exact same steps on the other side using some of the locking gel first and then sealing it with some of the island oil. Now with the rubber band I am going to create a ponytail with these two braids and then I'm going to roll it into a little mini bun and secure it with another rubber band. Voila! Now for the rest of my hair we are actually going to band to knot it because we're going to try to get like these looser flowier bits of curls. So these band to knots are not going to be done in super small sections. For the holidays especially I think that convenience is important and these Jamaican mango and lime products are sold at your local HEB so you can pick up your hair products, your food, your cutlery, your flowers and literally just about everything else that you need. So I'm going to do the same two products but first I'm going to use a little bit of the oil. It's a very light oil so you can actually use it as a sealant, you can use it on the scalp or you can use it as a finisher because it does have great shine. And then I'm moving into a bit of the locking gel. I'm primarily going to focus it on my ends and then work the rest up. Now with this section, I am going to do two very simple and basic bantu knots. We're literally just going to twist them, rotate them. Make sure that you twist your ends. The top of your hair doesn't need to be twisted very tight. And then we're going to begin to wrap it. Now, because this bantu knot is fairly loose, it's likely not going to stay. So I am going to add one bobby pin. I am doing these bantu knots looser for two reasons. One, it's going to be way less tension on the hair. And two, it's aesthetically going to give off a bit of a looser, wavier curl pattern that we're looking for. I'm going to repeat this bantu knot method and we are going to end up with about 8 to 10 bantu knots total. So all of the bantu knots are finished. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 
I have 11 bantu knots, so slightly more than I predicted, but we're gonna go ahead and let this dry overnight and then come back and finish off this beautiful holiday style brought to you by the Jamaican Mango and Lime Lime Soda HEB. See you in the morning. It's me. Again, I'm back. I slept with these Bantu knots overnight and it is now time to remove everything from my head and reveal this final holiday style. But first, it's a stressful time of year, so we need to make sure that we keep our edges intact, our scalp healthy, our hair growing, and our skin glowing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the Jamaican Mango and Lime, Jamaican Black Castor Oil, Coconut. I'm gonna grab a dropper and fill it up about halfway and apply some of this to my scalp. You don't need a lot when it comes to Jamaican black castor oil because it is rather thick. I'm also going to put a little bit on my edges. Take some time to work it in. And then we're just going to go ahead and take down the bantu knots. So I'm going to remove each body pan and then release the knot. I'm also going to put a little bit of island oil on my hands to reduce the amount of frizz as I am separating the bantu knots. Rub it in and coat those fingertips. As I separate, I am wrapping it around my finger. And now with a pick, I am going to go ahead and fluff it out and add as much volume as I desire. Now that it has been fluffed out, I just apply a bit of edge control to kind of tame my baby hairs. And I'm actually going to pin the sides back and slightly up. This is the final look. Make sure that you pop into HEB and check out the line of Jamaican Mango and Lime products. Please check the description bar below for more details. Hit that subscribe button. I hope that you guys enjoyed this natural hair tutorial and I will see you in my next one. Bye!